Yo! Hi. Hi. Sorry, I said hi. Sorry for the way I'm fasting. Um, um, uh, 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 who are you? Sorry for the way I'm fasting. It's raining heavily outside. Just bash into my house. With that. Where, where, where are you? Where are you coming from? He's cold. I have nowhere else to go to. And I saw the gate open, so he came in. I'm sorry. So, why is that my business? Huh? Please, can you help me? Help you with what? For what? Look, listen, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you're coming from. For all I know, you might be. I, I'm Robert. I, I don't know how you guys outside there. What are you doing in my house? Look at me. Do I look like a thief? Oh, come on now. Parents these days can be very deceptive. But I'm dying. Please, can you help me? Oh. But I'm none of these things you said. Did you... Okay, um, listen. I stay here alone. I, I'm not sure I have any female clothes around, but I'll just get something warm for you to wear. Okay? All right, all right. Just come with me. Wait, hold on. You're not even scared. Scared of what? I mean, for all you know, I, I might be a kidnapper, an assassin, uh, an armed robber, or I could have a human part. You don't even know who I am. You want to follow me? So, are you one? No, no, I'm not. But you should be scared at least. But assassins don't just kill for no reason. Oh, wow. You know, whatever I kill for fun, I kill for pleasure. I see a risk. I have no other choice. So, go ahead and kill me. I'm not going to kill you. You come with me. I get this for you, bro. What is it? Why are you sounding like you want a jackpot? Jackpot, okay. I wish. I wish. But listen, I guess I'm to tell you now we go bust your head, bro. This one will mad you. Ah, but you're playing me the tape now. I just did my house to play my game. One girl just barged into my house asking for something warm to wear. I didn't even understand. I don't understand, just like that. Bro, just like that. Just like that, honestly. And the funniest part, this girl come fine, girl. Ah, she's so beautiful. If you see this girl, even soaked in rain, bro, her beauty still this shine. I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? A stranger just walked into your house and you accepted her. Something they worry you. Listen, there's nothing wrong with me, okay? She's a girl. There's nothing she can do. She can't actually overpower me in my own house. Uh, I know we're living in bad times, but people still need genuine help. Do you understand? Okay, what do you want me to do? 
throw her back in the rain. Come on now, we're all human beings here at the end of the day. Regardless, regardless of that guy, we are living in a perilous time. You need to be able to use your brains. Uh -uh. Okay, I'm sure you don't even know what her name is, okay? Now, tell me, what is her name? Um, her name is... Uh... What did you say her name was again? Um... Yeah, her name. Her, her name. Her... My name is Irene. Wow. Wow. Listen, I must tell you the truth. I've never seen my clothes look this good before. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, the anklet looks really pretty on your legs. Thank you. So actually, this is the only thing left of my late mom. Oh, really? I'm so sorry to hear. Sorry about that. It's fine. So tell me, how are you? How do you feel now? I feel a little better, but I'm still very cold. Cold? Okay, I think I should turn off the AC, right? Uh, yeah. You know what? Just come and see. Alright. Okay. Let me make something warm for you to drink. Alright. Okay. Just feel comfortable. Thank you. Feel free, okay? So tell me, out of all the houses you chose my house to run into? Like I said, I was cold and I had no other choice and I needed warmth. I understand. I get it. You'll be fine, okay? Quite a lovely place you have. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you. I hope you're feeling better now, yeah? Are you hungry? Not really. Honestly, I'm, I'm hungry. I've not eaten anything serious all day. The reason why I eat right now, I don't think I can go out to buy food. Why can't I get food when you have a kitchen? So of course I can fix something for us. Don't play with me with food. You really do that? Of course. Well then, carry on. So what do you have? You know, I have a lot of stuff in the kitchen. I have someone who comes over to make food. That's about a week for me. But she had an emergency, so she couldn't make it this time. Don't worry, I'm not that horrible. Of course, I can fix something for us. Well, fine then. Right there. Oh. Thank you.
bro. You should still around you. She's in the house. Jerry, in your house doing what exactly? Can you miss me badly? What is she still doing in your house? Cooking. What? Uh huh. You heard me. Cooking. A total stranger cooking for you. Somebody you've never met before. Do you serve rest? Eh? When you go to a restaurant, you ask who makes the food. At least she's cooking in my kitchen, using my stuff to cook. Of course I'm going to eat it. Jerry, you should have been named Jonah because it has become clear that you want to go back to the belly of the fish. And I hope you know that the fish have become wiser now and it will not spit you out. Uh, unfortunately, the, the, the fish is in my pot and I'm going to eat it. Nothing's going to happen to me. You think this is a joke, Abby? You serve rest, serve Zukwani K. Rest in Jesus' name. Ah. Mm. Thank you. I actually got that from my mom. Uh, you know what? I wish I knew how to cook like you. But it's nothing serious. You could actually learn if you want to. Chasing the bag on one hand. Cooking on one hand. It's a lot of stress already. You really need to learn so your wife won't do shakara for you when you're married. <laughs> Go not allow me to marry a woman. Mm -hmm. I don't want to cook for me. You don't mean it. <laughs> Better learn. <laughs> mm. So mm. good. Super good. Mm. Thank you. Say thank you so much for the food. Pleasure is mine. Oops, uh, it's getting very late. I need to go drop you off now. Well, my clothes are still wet. How am I supposed to put on wet clothes? You know what? Just put it in the washing machine. It's still and dry now. But it's so cold outside. I don't want to catch cold. I think I'm going to drop you off, okay? Don't bother about the cold. You know what? Just when you're done, let me know, okay? It's fine. Irene! Irene! What are you doing inside? Let's go! Irene! I'm here now. Oh, God. Like 
um, I mean, listen, I'm very sure I've seen you bleeding before. You have? Yes. It's not possible. Look, listen, I feel like we're going in circles. How? I'm taking you to where I stay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm taking you to where I stay. Confirmed, we are going in circles. We are just going round and round and round. What's going on? I've passed this house like three times already. Listen, if you don't want to take me to your house, it's fine. I'll just drop you off here. No, why would I do that? Why would you do what? Not really. We're almost there. Listen, you came to me for help. Alright, I gave you my assistance. If you don't want me to know your house, just fine. I'll drop you off here. It's fine. Let's go. We're almost there. This is the fifth time we're almost there. Thank you very much for your help and hospitality. This is where I stay. I'm very grateful. Alright, do you want me to come inside? No, not today. I will have to inform my friend that you're coming. Maybe some other time. Alright, just stay safe, okay? Sure. Feel free to come around to my house anytime you like, alright? Sure. I'll have that in mind. Thank you very much. Alright. Come back here! Come back here! Who's that guy? I'm not the body! Come on! 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 Come Who's that guy? Talk to me, who's that guy? Why, 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 why is he chasing you? Listen, I'm asking you to push an exam and answer. Talk! 
But no. Easy, easy, take it easy, easy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. to talk to me. Good. Now tell me, who's that guy? He's my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? You mean that animal is your boyfriend? Who opens a fight with a woman on the street? Richard. Yes. Good. And you're still with him? I mean, if you can do that to you publicly, I wonder what he's doing to you privately. Welcome to my world. Tell me, what are you still doing in that type of toxic relationship? They say, in the absence of crocodile, you make do with a lizard, right? So, so, how does that even match? He was available when I needed help. And shelter. Were you homeless? So I was living with my dad after I lost my mother. After some time, my dad remarried her to my stepmom. And when my stepmom was pregnant with a male child, she wanted me out of the house. By all means. What? So my dad kicked me out of the house because he was obsessed with a male child. For real? I was on the street for some time. That was how I met Richard. He gave me shelter. And we started living together. He abuses me regularly and everywhere. We had a fight this morning and he kicked me out of the house under that heavy rain. That was how I ran into this place. He never misses any opportunity to hit me, to abuse me. I've been taking it for so long, but to a point. I'm like, I'll end up losing my life. So I started defending myself. This is, this is really, really pathetic. Why would your father do that? I mean, you're his child too. My dad was so obsessed with having a male child. He sacrificed his daughter over a son. And that was what led to the death of my mom. She died pregnant. How? How? So after the scan my mom had, she discovered that she was going to have another baby girl. My mom's baby was. <laughs> She couldn't be eight. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. I 
and I lost her. She, she couldn't even have the baby. I lost, I lost my mother. you're going through? Well, they say when life throws lemon at you, you make lemonades with them. Right? Yeah. Rightly said. True. Listen, I think you need to rest now, okay? We'll continue tomorrow, alright? Thank God it's the weekend. Come with me, I'll show you to where you sleep, right? Okay? Just come with me. Please come in. So you can sleep here for the night, okay? But this is your bedroom. What happened to your guest room? Um, I could sleep there. The guest room is not in order right now. You will sleep there, my catch a flu. So where yes. will you sleep now? I sleep in the living room. I really feel bad coming into your home and making you feel uncomfortable. That's fine. Sometimes I sleep in the living room, watching movie, playing my game, I just sleep on. Make yourself comfortable, okay? Thank you, Mama. God bless you. God bless you too. Sleeping is already very late. You know, I'm in a strange place. Um, I'm still trying to adapt. <clears throat> you've had a very long day already. You should go to bed. With everything you've been through today, you should be sleeping. Same as you, I kept you on your toes throughout today. The death is so rare. Listen. Every human desires fever, alright? It's what connects us as human beings. Hmm. Food for thought. <laughs> Please, can I sit here or lie on the other couch? That's if you don't mind. No, no. Please go to the room and sleep there. That's if you share the same bed with me. What? But I'll be happy to see you lie down comfortably on your bed. Please. Please, come on.
sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to. It's fine. I'm sorry too. I guess the weather made it easier for the both of us to cuddle, considering how cold it was. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess so. But I'm still sorry. It's okay. Let me go make something for us to eat. I hope she doesn't feel like I'm taking advantage of her. Jerry, what have you done? Something I wish I says I'm shy. I'm not shy. In fact, scratch all that. How was your night? Can I be honest with you? Yes, please. Last night was the best night of my life. Mm. I slept peacefully. I felt like I was home, free from troubles, free from pains. I felt like I found. I finally found peace. Yeah. If I say so. I feel so. And I'm not wrong. Uh, so Irene, tell me, uh, concerning your current situation, how do you intend to handle it? Eh? Jerry, don't know. No idea? Then tell me, what do you do? Well, nothing. Sorry, nothing? Like, nothing at all? Yeah. Did you go to school? Yeah, I did. But I did not finish because I couldn't afford it. See what I'm saying? Guys like, um, what's his name now? Richard. Always pick on girls like you because you have nothing to fall back to. And most especially, you have nowhere to fight for you. You're right. They go for dependent women like yourself. Make you completely dependent on them. They tend to control your life, the way you live, who you talk to. But the moment you become independent, they avoid you. Because you can just wake up one morning and leave. Because yes, you have the resources to do that. Just take a good look at me. I don't even have a phone. Yeah. He made sure that I don't reach out to people it, because it feels like people advise me to leave him. He made sure I'm in contact with no You know what, it's fine, it's okay. All right, all that will be sorted, okay? How? Just eat first. Just let me think about it. Eat. about something very quickly. Okay. okay um, tell me, what are you passionate about? Fashion designing. Fashion designing? Yes. That's great. That's, that's really good. Listen, um, you need to start uh, fashion designing classes. But first of all, you need to go back to school. Okay? Just like that. Do you want to sign documents for this? But I'm a stranger to you. Listen, you get to meet people, know people. No longer a stranger to me. Okay. I don't even know how to appreciate you. I don't even know how to pay you back for everything you've it's done for me, Jerry. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. It's fine. All right. It's okay. Thank you. I'm just okay.
Good morning. Hi. Good morning. You must be Irene. Yes. I'm Mark. Is Jerry inside? Yes, please come in. You can have a seat. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Mark, my bro. Ah, ah see what you're wearing you. red. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> How fun, uh. <laughs> to you, bro. What's good? Ah, good, good, good. Is everything all right? This one you're wearing red. This is kind of early morning. Everything's good, bro. Ah, this one you're here before the cock crows. Hope we are safe. <laughs> She's pretty, I must confess. You close your eye. Close your eye. <laughs> but, bro, hmm? I still think it's not a good idea keeping her here. <sighs> this again, huh? Listen, if you go on the streets now, yeah, and you see a girl, and you like her, and you ask her out and take her home, what's the difference? She's not still a stranger. She's still a stranger. She is, yes. So what's the difference between um, her and Irene? What's the difference? My bro, you can paint it however you want, but I still won't agree with you. <sighs> Considering the circumstance surrounding how she got into your house, times are bad. Listen, I know. I know times are bad, yeah. But there are still good people out there. Do you understand? There are still good people, genuine people that need help right now. Do you understand? For this one, I've made up my mind. Okay? Life itself is very risky. You go to bed every night. You know, sure for a way that I go wake up tomorrow morning, but you still go to bed. Do you understand? Life itself is risk. Okay. You're right. I mean, there is no winning you, is there? There's no winning me on this one, bro. I give up. But no. I've made up my mind already. Just leave it be. I've been out like it for you. Man, get me something Drink to drink now. Just What's up? One sec. <laughs> I got you. I know what you want. <laughs> but I know what you need, Seth.
like them? Look at them, they are so fine. You like it? Yeah, they fit so well. It's not that pretty. Why? You don't like it? You make it more beautiful. Right? Mm. So? <laughs> Traced me down to this place. Like, how did he even get to locate this place? That guy's a big fool. He's a bastard. How did you cope with that guy for years? How, how did you even cope with him? I'm so sorry. It's fine. There's nothing to be sorry about. Because I'm the cause of all this embarrassment. Please, take it easy. Okay, it's not your fault. You didn't invite him here. Alright, I should be asking you, are you okay? He pushed you really bad. I'm fine. I just guess I'm used to his ways already. I just wish I had pulled him out, but hey, I like. Hey, hey, is it enough? I'm enough. So sorry. Take it easy. I'm it's so it's sorry, fine. It's fine. Jerry. At least he knows better now. I gave him a bit of his life. He comes back to this compound. Make sure I arrest him. And most like that should be put in a cage. I'm sorry, Jerry. Sorry. Let's forget about it. This is unbelievable. Are you saying Richard came here? Yes, yeah, so he did. What does he want? Huh? He said he came to take me home. <laughs> take you home as, as what? As my husband and benefactor, you know. The same person that threw you out. That's not enough. Oh. He told Jerry that he has invested so much in me and he can't let him take me away from him. <laughs> is he joking? Oh, investor. Hmm. Invested in you. So what about the beatings? Are you, that part of the story? Are you minding the fool? Forget the fool, Jerry. Let's see that now. Right, right. Richard is old news. Let's discuss what is more important. Mm -hmm. So baby girl, how far is this guy helping you? Eh, yeah, Stella, what about him? Babe, this one I think you are feel like this. You better hold him strong. Hold him strong, how? Guys like this are hard to come by. There's nothing between us, so he's just helping me, that's all. And that's exactly what I'm saying. Babe, look, you have to try and take this to the next level. So don't let this guy slip away. Oh. So are you saying I should take advantage of his kindness? <laughs> Baby girl, 
opportunities like this will not come twice. So when you find a good man, grab him and make him yours. Slack on this so. I beg Stella. I will let things flow. I won't force things. I'll just let things go accordingly, please. Oh. I see you want to return to the streets, huh? And you forget that if I act too desperate, I'll end up in a place worse than Richard. Come on now, babe. I can't. It's too nice. Find a place where you can start your fashion design training. So fast? Yes, it's actually my friend's facility. They can't wait to have you. Oh, I've been all my life. It's calm. I'm serious. You've been so nice to me. You're welcome. So I'm going out this night for my friend's event. Okay. But I'm scared about leaving you at home. Why? I mean, your psycho boyfriend might come and attack you. <laughs> Of course I will handle him, he can't. <laughs> you he know what? Dare I'm going to call my friend to come stay home with you. Okay? Okay. Can Alice, I'll be, at, I'll be at peace if there's somebody at home with you. You can insist? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. Thank you. And I know she's not a kid anymore, all right? But I'm just scared. You know, I won't be around. That her crazy ex-boyfriend might just come back and attack her or something, you know? I'm not around, you know? You're right. Yeah, and I trust only you to do this kind of thing, you know? No problem. But you go pay me now. <laughs> oh, dear. Come call your money now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to wait home till you come before I leave, right? No problem. I beg you in the name of God, please. No African time. Because I know you. I know you. All right, guy. All right. No problem. I'll see you the way stuck. All right, now later, bro. All you do is work and work and work. Sometimes I do think that maybe lack of work can kill you. Like, like who knows? <laughs> You're a big problem in this house. I swear. I'm stating the obvious though. I'm not saying working is bad though. Sometimes you learn to ease up the stress. You At know, least it gives clarity. You know what? You've seen only one side of me. That's why you're talking like this. If I flex you in this town, mm -hmm. you will not be happy, guy. I beg, I beg, stop happy yourself. I'm serious. Uh, yeah, check it out. I think it should be Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hi, good evening. The boy. For the first time in your life, you kept the time. Hey. G, good. I'm worried that the mess should remain in your life, but let it be permanent. You better come and start going before I change my mind. Why just stay charged, I beg? All right, man. Got you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you I will. I will. Thank you. I think you should go inside now. It's getting late. Lock the doors and stay safe, all right? Please make sure you drive safe, okay? I will. I will. All right, it's getting late now. Go inside, okay? Take care of yourself. I will. Lock the doors and stay safe, all right? Okay. Good girl. Drive safe, don't forget. I will. Take care of yourself, all right? All right. 
Zergon. Yeah. All right. So do you need anything? Uh, no, I'm fine. I had something before I came. Okay. Yeah. You're so kind. Thank you. That being said, in case you need anything. Sure. I definitely will. What do you mean by I wonder about that girl you listen? What do you mean? That girl did not let me sleep last night. Yes, I will, I will call him if you don't leave here right now. Stop it! You've been missing out on this hotness. Stop it! I, I, I'll call... Stop! Just go. Leave. Leave. Please. What has come over you? Jesus. Be a man. Don't miss out on me. Please just stop this. You know what? I will call Jerry. Okay, it's fine. Fine. In case you change your mind, I'll be upset. She kept on forcing herself on me. We were struggling and tussling until a fight broke out between me and her. I had to beat her up. Ma, what did you say? You had to beat Irene up. Would you rather I let her rape me? Ma, you're telling me Irene tried to rape you. You! With all this muscle. She tried to rape you. Where is she? Where's Irene? I don't know. She, she left last night and she has not returned. Are you trying to tell me that Irene is sleeping in this house? She didn't. Then why did I call you? Why can't I bring you here to help you protect her? You mean stand on the streets? I don't believe you. Are you trying to say I'm lying? Listen, I'm not trying to say you lied or anything. Irene tried to rape you. Yes. To beat her up and she left the house. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes. I have to hear from my end first before I make a decision. Do you understand?
phone is ringing upstairs. She didn't even take her phone out with her. That mark, eh? Yusef. been this way, doctor. It looks like internal bleeding. Oh, there's nothing we can do. The people who brought her here are gone. And we cannot treat her for free. I know we cannot treat her for free, doctor. But at least we need to do something to revive her. Then we can get details of her people later on for payment. The hospital does not work like that. I know the hospital doesn't work like that, doctor. But we need to do something. At this rate, she will just die. There is nothing I can do. If you want to do something, go ahead. You can use your salary to save her. You do that. Who's there? What are you doing here? I'm looking for Irene. Is she here by any chance? What kind of stupid question is that? What would she be doing here? After the both of you gang up against me to attack me in your own house. And you, you still have the guts to come here to ask after her. Um, look, Richard, I'm not here for any words exchange with you right now. I'm just looking for her. Is she here by any chance? Yes or no? <laughs> is she missing? Something like that. <laughs> I bet she must have dumped you for the richer guy. That's how she left me. My brother, look, you need to accept reality. She has, she has left you. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> Irene is not that kind of person. Okay? <laughs> oh, and you, you, if she's not that kind of person, what, what are you doing here? My brother, let me tell you something. I'll give you a piece of advice. She has moved on to a richer guy. And you, you're, you're no more in her league. That's why she has left you. Sorry, bro. Welcome to the club. <laughs> she has left you. <laughs> I <re> <laughs> Hi. I need 
birthday, okay? Pray someone comes for you soon. Go if you find um, 22B. Go, go up there. Forward. Uh, I'll go left, I'll go right. No, by this street. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. What happened for you? Uh, accident happened for you yesterday. I'm going to jump person. Accident? Mm. Did you see the person? I don't know the person, but a woman is it. A woman? Yeah. What did happen after? The motor run, but they carried the woman to hospital. You stopped in the hospital? I don't know, but make you check down for a back state, sir. What's today? Yeah. Are you serious? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So someone even drunk me, so I'm going to ask you to do To her. She was involved in an accident. Some persons brought her here. Why are you not treating her already? We know nothing about her. No friends, no relative, no money payment. What do you mean no money payment? Because of money, you won't start treatment on, on somebody that's, that's injured? What do you mean? Listen, study immediately. I'll, I'll take up the bill. We wish it to you. My friend. All right, nurse. Yes, I'm fine. Take him to the account department and prepare okay. a file for her. Okay, then. I'll take it to my office. Sir, I can't. Jesus, stop, sir, really. Very good. So I did a great job. Well, come on now, don't cry. <laughs> Tell me something. Why did you leave the house? If I left the house, you were okay, you were good. Why did you just leave? I didn't leave the house because I wanted to. What happened? <laughs>
Yes, what is it? I can't sleep. Hey. Do you need something? Yes. of you just in my head. My first shift. I swear, I just I just want to have a bite. Just just a bite. Bite of what? Just a bite from the past. I'm serious. Leave me alone. Irene. Leave me alone. Okay, so, 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 just, just no. No. Go. No. Come here now. Just. I. Mark tried to rape you. He's my friend. I know, but that's just the truth. If not, why would I leave the house without my phone? I couldn't even call you. I'm going to kill that bastard! I can't believe her! I can't believe it! She's lying, bro! Whatever you say or you do will be used against you in the court of law. Cough him! He is a bastard! Hey! You're a bastard! Take him away! Move! Take him away. Which is locked for a very long time. What happened with your young Mark? Nothing. What did you do? 
I said nothing. What's important right now is you get better. Alright? Please. I really want to know. Please. I beat him up. Go ahead, my said. You're going that far. Alright, listen. Anybody that wants to hurt you has to go through me first, regardless who the person is. You get some rest, okay? to be back home. Let's just focus on getting you better, okay? Everything is going to be all right, trust me. So can I ask you a question? Sure. Why are you doing all this for me? Because I'm just an ordinary stranger to you. Do you still consider yourself a stranger? If I'm not a stranger, then who and what am I to you? Get it off my eyes. Hi. Hi. Um, Stella, I responded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in, please. Oh, my God. I mean, Jesus Christ. What happened? There's a long story. Come on, have a seat. Oh, I'm my God. Fine. What I'm fine, babe. I'm fine. Stella meets Jerry. Jerry, meet my friend Stella. Um, hi. You're welcome. My friend has told me so much about you. Thank you for what you've done for my friend. It's okay. It's all right. Just come. I'm happy she's all right now. You know what? Let me make something for you too, okay? Oh, thank you so much. No, don't worry about that. I mean, I'm here. I'll just take care of that. Are you sure? Yeah. Sure. Oh, please, please. I'll just leave you to your stuff. All right. Thank you. Later. What? Okay, it's a bit off. I'm fine. I know you're fine. I mean... Madam, well, even with my condition, I see asking me questions. Come, take a make food. <laughs> you that will not change anything. Come, make food. I'm hungry. <laughs> Let me make it, but you must answer. I like I'm a bug. Come, make food. Oh, my friend, you don't look so good, though. I'm coming. Let me cook for you. Just, I'm coming. Just like story. <laughs> huh? So I spoke with my friend's father. He's a professor at university. So he promised to secure you admission next year. Oh, oh my God, that is so cool. Oh God, oh God, please send my destiny help out. Oh God. That's unbelievable. I can't believe my dream of going back to school is actually materializing. Thank you so much, Jerry. Yeah, it's a promise. And I'll see through to you, okay? You've yeah. proven that decent and kind-headed men still to exist. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Jerry. It's fine. May God continue to bless you. You're welcome. It's all right. Why so to be proud, <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so happy.
honestly this past few days has really really impacted positively in my life I'm happy to hear that I think you just thank you for everything you've done for me I don't know what I would have done without you don't thank me yet I'm not done anything Really? so much Jerry. I really do. I love it too Mary. Thank you. 